Hello guys and welcome back to another video on the Jay Gormley 67 YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over with you my thoughts on Celtic 6 Dundee nil. So let's get right into it. Three things that I thought from the game. Let's go. So number one, the 4-4-3 four, four, formation is the best formation that I have seen Celtic play in since the 4-2-3-1 from the Invincible season. It's amazing with Hart, Ralston, Welsh, Starfield, Greg Taylor, Turnbull, McGregor, um, Rogic, Abad, Furahashi, uh, Kaigo Furahashi, uh, K, uh, Kaigo Furahashi. Absolute player, right? And I, I'm seeing signs of a player there that has some big big steps that he's going to take in his career. I cannot, I, I, based, if he keeps playing like that, he, I think he'll only be here for two years. He is some player. You've seen how he cut in. He was winning chance after chance after chance, taking shot after shot after shot. Such a good player. And then you've got Ryan Christie, who was also amazing. Same with a badder. That, that was the best as well. So let's move on to number two. So number two is how much we dominated that game. And people don't like, won't really get to comprehend this until you actually think about it. 31 shots we took and half of them were on target. That is, that is brilliant. They didn't even get a shot on target. Joe Hart did nothing in that game. That was the good part. Celtic were that good that Joe Hart didn't even need to do anything. Along with our possession, our possession was seventy-five to twenty-five, and we can put and we completed more than we completed out like ninety-three percent of our passes were completed, which is us showing it, us showing how good we are. Actual. Like, we're getting corners, we're getting everything. 91% pass accuracy, sorry, not 93. But, absolutely, I cannot deny it. Such, it was, I'd actually go this far to say, that is the best I have seen Celtic play in three years. That was, like, with, we dominated. They never had a chance that's how good we were. 31 shots, 15 shots on target, 75% possession, 710 passes, 91% of them were accurate. Uh, 11 fouls, but we got no yellow cards, no red cards. We played our offsides brilliantly, no offsides, 11 corners, which currently will then sit as fourth in the table which off two games, one loss, one win, is where exactly where we want it to be. Five plus goal difference. That is, that's the best that you could currently get. Let's uh, obviously the other SPFL teams, St. Johnson drew 1-1, one, one, Aberdeen won 2-1 one, one, and Hibs won 3 nil. So Hibs are top, Aberdeen are second, Hearts are third, Celtic are fourth, Rangers are fifth. Uh, Dundee United are sixth and St Johnston are seventh. So, based off of Celtic, dominated. So, if we can dominate like that and we keep that up to the same standards, we will win this league season by pack loads of points. Like, I'm talking like if we play like that every single week, there is no team in Scotland that could beat us with that level that we played today. I know they're a newly promoted team that you could look at it, but it's all positives today. There was nothing negative about today. We maybe should have put away more of our chances, but six nothing you cannot argue with. But for the third thing is, uh, well, let's just say, Ange Postacoglu made some cracking signings this summer and they are showing themselves. Like, I know this is all going to lead into almost like the one topic, these three things, but Ange Postacoglu made some of the best signings that I have ever, like, 
I'm not even kidding. This is like Brendan Rodgers level of signings. He's signing players like, uh, he's signing Kyogo Furuhashi, who obviously he's seen him in Japan. And he's just the way he touches and the way he shoots with the wee soft touches that get absolutely everything. He knows what he's supposed to do. Starfelt has been amazing as well. He was great today. Um, then you also look like he seemed to have turned Tom Rogic around, who scored today, along with Anthony Ralston, has also got two goals and two league appearances. Uh, and now you're starting to look at Celtic are actually showing up to standards that we are seeing from the Invincible season and that we are seeing from other seasons in the past, that uh, like the 17-18 season, where we play like we want to win. Like last season, we slacked off a bit in most of our games. This season, especially today and especially during the week, just shows you that Celtic actually have them in it. I just want to say the three best players today were Abada, Christie and Furuhashi. You are not stopping that front three. Uh, I'd even say that we want to probably sign on Christie because even though sometimes he's good, sometimes he's shocking, mo like based off today, you just show him that he is going to probably want to maybe an extra year or two on his contract to almost extend him out and we could maybe sell him to somebody down south for, I'd say, I know it's quite bold, but I'd say after two or three years, we could sell him for upwards of £20 million. Pounds. He is that good. Uh, what can I say though? Uh, we've done our job. We did our job today. All positives. It was uh, it's I was so good, and I'm lost for words of how good we were today. There, it's like the best of the best. It was like top tier football that we played today. Uh, at any problems with that i'd love to see a celtic could play like that on thursday night and get three four goals past jablonek and even play that against altmar which is going to be the week after so i am hopeful heading in to the thursday night game and i will be hopeful for next saturday against hearts that Celtic will actually do something and will hopefully be through to the quarterfinal of the League Cup and the playoff of the Europa League. But I've rounded up my eight minutes here roughly uh, of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I got 5k views on yesterday's video and thank you very much for 80,000 views or I might not have hit it yet but I was Paul looking at the viewership that I was getting last night, I was on about 6,000 views of yesterday's video. So I would be really hopeful in looking at maybe hitting 80k and maybe hit 100k by the end of the year. Uh, that would be a goal for me. Uh, and I'd also try like, to hit 800 subscribers at some point in the next year. I know it's probably unlikely, but hopefully, let's just say, I can reach 800 subscribers, I'm about 90 subs off or something. But uh, without further ado, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next Jay Gormley 67 video. Bye.